check this out. There's a little something. Hang on, little guy. There he is. Small but pretty. What's up guys? Today is a wonderful day. It's the first day of first grade for my oldest daughter. So I took the day off, went with my wife, took her to school, hung out in the morning, had breakfast, the whole thing. It was wonderful. But the best part is I now have a few hours to do some fly fishing and I'm super stoked about that. So let's get this parking paid for and I'll clue you in on what it is we're going to do. They'll find it there, right? That should that should be good. That should be fine. All right, so we've had some warmer weather out here in North Georgia. It's been in the 90s. Today it's kind of nice. It's about 10 in the morning. Water's been a little bit clear. Haven't had rain for a little while. We got some rain coming this weekend. But right now, I've got some nice clear water. I was scouting the river a little bit. And uh, plan today is to throw on a dry dropper rig and uh, fish in front of rocks. I'll show you what that looks like. But we're going to put on uh, a dry fly up top, drop a nymph off of it and drift into some good looking spots in front of rocks where fish should be holding, maybe even lining up to feed. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get this rigged up. Let's go. to the river now let's talk just a little bit about general tips for summer fly fishing if you're in a place like me and you're lucky enough to have a river that holds trout even through the summer you are gonna have to make some adjustments to keep pulling fish one of those adjustments is going lighter that means lighter on your leader lighter on your tippet and get some smaller flies on there as well. Remember this water's clear. These fish are heavily pressured. Um, the water's not as oxygenated. There's a lot of factors 
Um, so pare down a little bit, even get a little out of your comfort zone. We're talking 4X tippet is my normal. I might go down to 2X. Um, just in general, you don't want anything that can spook already very wary fish. And that's what we've done today. I've got the dry dropper, got a parachute Adams type on the top, got a, a nymph dropped off the bottom. And uh, we're gonna go out there and, and see what we can do. Got foggy conditions right now, nice layer of fog coming off the river itself. So hoping we've got a, a good day ahead of us. All right, guys, getting down to the water. Check that out. Nice layer of fog, otherwise pretty clear in the water. Some great structures, some great rocks. There's nobody out here. I'm all by my lonesome and I'm excited. started getting a, a suspicion that things were getting a little heavier and a little faster so I called the water release number and sure enough they opened up the dam at about 955 and they're gonna be generating until about noon so they obviously did not get the memo that I have a day off of work because of my daughter's first day of school and that I would like to have a nice peaceful day of fishing. So we're leaving the river. I'm leaving the river. We, I guess you too, if you're watching, leaving the river and I'm gonna go change things up. I'm gonna go hit the lake. Um, and I'm gonna hit the lake for carp. Big, nasty, angry, vegetarian carp. I've been wanting to do this for a little while um, and today looks like the day. Still got a couple hours to go before I have to get ready to go see the Atlanta Braves play the LA Dodgers and uh, I'm gonna take advantage of every single minute I got. So I'm gonna go get out of these wet boots, go grab my spinning gear, and the next time you see me, we'll be out on the lake. What's up guys, we're back. We're out here on Lake Lanier and I'm gonna do some, uh, gonna do some chumming. So here's what I got. Check this out. I got a, I got a jug filled with dog food and I'm gonna toss it out there attached to this rope and let it attract carp, catfish, everything and while that's happening while that's sinking and soaking I'm gonna mess with some panfish here too as well so um, we'll see if uh, this strategy for carp is, is worth anything all right getting ready to toss the chum bucket Got it out there come on and sink Might have to pull that back in. All right guys, so the chum bucket is deployed and now we just let it sink. 
let it soak and uh, wait to see if it brings in any anything like carp, catfish, the like. And for now, let's see if there's any uh, any bluegill or anything of that nature. See if we can put a couple fish on a fly rod. There's a the little guy. Took the dry fly. Oh, quick release. All right, guys, just checking in on my on my chum bucket over here. Um, it's been sitting here for a while, about 20 minutes. No big fish yet, no carp, no catfish, but there are a ton of bait fish very interested in the scents coming from that uh, that bucket of dog food. So uh, we'll leave it, leave it alone for a while longer, see if it turns into some big game. Check this out. A little something. Hang on, little guy. There he is. Small but pretty. A few moments later. Well, guys, this is getting rough. Um, a chum buck is out there bringing in bait fish like you wouldn't believe. It's just a, it's a buffet. If you're a big fish. You can come in here and swoop on these bait fish, no problem. But none of them are doing it. Also, no carp, no catfish. None of that stuff is coming in and being attracted by the chum bucket. Um, on top of that, to make matters even worse, these pumpkin seeds and bluegill and other things that are usually quite accommodating to bite a fly, they're not really biting either. I've caught like two. So... It's turning into one of the rougher days in a good long while. I um, guess it makes you appreciate those awesome days when you're fishing, but you know, every day's not a winner. Today was definitely on the losing end of that spectrum between catching just a couple little panfish, getting eaten up basically by ants because I'm a dumb dumb and wore sandals to the lake. Um, getting the river washed out by the dam release. I mean, you couldn't script this worse. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. So, we'll see you next time when I get my revenge. <laughs>